girls night out type of things. Like yes, we do. <laughs> Hello and good morning everyone. Rexon's at a birthday party. This little girl in his class, she invited the entire class to her birthday party. That is one incredible mom. That's all I want to say. You guys playing kitty? Yes. We're hanging out in my bedroom, getting things cleaned up. You can tell we are vacation prep underway. So I'm having the kids clean up their rooms. <laughs> Kruby is our kitty today. We have a little bit of work being done on the house this week, which don't ask me why I chose to do that the week that we're leaving out of town. That was probably not smart. They had an opening and so I took it. These boys and Ryler are going to transform their bedrooms. Half of that will be done before we leave. The other half will be done after we get home. What's happening this week is the boys are getting their room painted. So we painted our house a couple, almost two years ago. Or did I do that last year? Has it been a year? I can't remember. It's been a while. We painted the rest of our house, except for we didn't do all the bedrooms in the upstairs. I did. Hazel's room and the reason that was great is because I learned that I don't like to paint bedrooms We're gonna have the painter come in this week and she is going to paint all these walls We've got stuff that needs to come down. You guys have already bought new decor new bedding We are changing the entire way this bedroom looks completely you guys won't even recognize it We're gonna be working on that this week But this week the only thing we have to get done is get this room painted So they've got to clean up the floor clean up all the mess get things somewhat put away So we're gonna work on that this morning right guys working on his bedroom Let's go check on him and see how he's doing right guy. How's it going? Wow, you have a lot of Crap under there. That's not even a fraction of it, huh? Yeah, he's got a lot of stuff under this magical bed. Look who's keeping you company. Little Lassie! Hi, kitty. Hi. Good job, Rai Guy. Keep it up. You're doing awesome. We are here at Rai Guy's very first basketball game of the no. season and in years. He took a couple years off of basketball. This is his first one. How you feeling, bro? I don't know. Just be honest. He's nervous. He's super nervous, but I told him that's normal and it's going to be all right because he's got Team Bingham. He doesn't know he's been on his team, but he does know Team Bingham right here. Cheering him on. We're going to be with him. We got to get his jersey, get him set up. First game coming at you right now. Let's go! <laughs> Dude, Rye Guy just got here. He just got his jersey. Guys, if you don't know the Utah Jazz, if you're not familiar with them, the best number you could possibly get is 45. to randomly score 45. Make that number proud, bro. <laughs> okay, get out there and warm up. I'm not kidding you, Ryler is so nervous right now. It's the most adorable thing ever. His coach, he's actually had before years ago. Turns out we know a couple of people on the team, so that's gonna be good. So you did your warm ups, you got through that. How you feeling now? You actually know a couple of people on the team. You know the coach, because you've been with her before, and you got a couple layups in. How does it feel now? Good. Much better? Are you still as nervous? No. Hey, you got this, bro. You got this. We're here. Ah. Team Bingham is here. Fresh off of his first game, bro. Tell us how it was. How did it feel? Good. Nice to get the first one out of the way. So we've loaded up in the car and we are doing one of the most critical, most important parts of any Saturday game day, as you may well know, are the post-game treats. Gas station run, donut run, whatever it might be. Flew and picked up a treat. Right guy has not eaten a thing today, so he went with an interesting treat there. I just wanted a lunch. So he got some pizza, some Pringles pizza. Ruby and Brexy, what did you guys get? We got triple push pops. Triple push pops. Dad's gonna try out this cliff bar that has like Nutella in the middle. I am stoked to try that out. We're gonna head back home now, meet up with Hazy. She should be getting back from her birthday party right now. So we're gonna go team up with them. And I don't know what else we're gonna do today, but we'll figure it out. Ryler got home from his basketball game and he did awesome. Got a basket and everything, huh? He was a little bit nervous to go today because he hadn't been to practice yet. He's been focusing mostly on swim for the past couple years. So this year was kind of fun to start something new. Yeah. Just try something new. I think that he's excited for practice to kind of get a little bit more comfortable. Yeah. Now that we're home, kids have been playing. The kids have requested meatballs with bow tie pasta and Alfredo sauce. It's gonna make an easy dinner tonight. It's fun to use my stove and all of that kind of stuff. So meatballs from Costco tonight with bow tie pasta, super easy. I know this is like the silliest thing. My old microwave, I told you, the problem I had with it is the lights under here didn't work. You think like no big deal, right? But no, look at this. It makes such a difference, especially with me cooking. I am able to like get such a better view and so much better color. I want you to know that I bought this stove for you. We're having a struggle here getting dinner complete, so we're gonna do a challenge style. We are going to time them <laughs> in a race to see who can finish their meatballs the fastest. <laughs> oh my gosh, you're so bad. Hang on, Hazy, go. Hazy! 
Guys, you let take a lesson from Hazy and Brex who are already done. Okay, wait, you can't start until I say go. On your marks, get set, go. <laughs> Do not throw up, guys. And don't give any to the Laz crew. Go faster. If you think about it and choose slow, you're gonna hate them. You gotta do fast. Choo choo swallow, choo choo swallow, choo choo swallow. Crew is literally dry heaving. They're meatballs. They're delicious. They're covered in Alfredo sauce. You love them. You asked for them tonight. Oh, are you okay? Okay. Okay, this is more, less eventful than I thought. We're 30 seconds in, and I think they're done. <laughs> and they had one bite, they still have their entire bowl of meatballs left. <laughs> this is the worst eating contest I've ever been a part of. <laughs> Kids did end up eating their meatballs. We came up with a fun way to get them to do that. I promised them we could watch a movie down here in the theater, have a fun treat, if they would just power through and do it. And I feel so bad, guys, because they genuinely just didn't like them. Like, they were gagging and everything, but they powered through and they did it, so I was super proud of them. We ended up watching Storks down here, had a great finish to the night. But guys, today's vlog is not done. Saturday's done, but today's vlog is not done, because we have a very special part two for you guys. As many Many of you know, and if you don't know, we are no longer doing vlogs on Sundays. We go live on Sunday at 4.30 Mountain Time. That's what we're gonna try and do and try and stick with that schedule as much as we can. 4.30 Mountain Time, live on Sundays, right here on This Is How We Bingham. So hopefully you guys are catching those. But because of the events of tomorrow night, Sunday night, we are going to be adding some of that into today's vlog because my brothers, Sean and Jared Bingham, have been featured on the show Shark Tank. Now, you may know their company, Adventure Hunt. We went on one of their adventure hunts, one of the coolest things we've ever done as a family. <laughs> This is a full family affair. We actually ended up finding and digging up a real live buried treasure. Oh, you oh I hear it! Ah! <laughs> Such a cool idea. It is so difficult as an entrepreneur to get your business featured on Shark Tank, much less get a deal from one of the sharks. They are going to be on Shark Tank. My brother's throwing a huge watch party. Got this entire place rented out. 100 plus people are gonna be there, so we wanted to bring you guys along with for the ride so you can see that, because it is a very cool, very unique, very special opportunity that I'm excited that my brothers, my family, get to be a part of. They ran a little teaser for it, and seeing my brothers up there on stage pitching to the sharks, I just, my heart was swelling with pride. So proud of my brothers. So drop them a massive congratulations in the comments, you guys. Make sure you check out their company. But the most important thing is we're taking you to the watch party and we're doing it now. Hello, it is Welcome Sunday. Welcome to Sunday. Hi, sir. <laughs> We've picked up a stalker. <laughs> We are here for the premiere of Shark Tank. Brandon's two brothers, Jared and Sean, are featuring their business, Adventure, Adventure Hunt. Hunt. Gonna be in front of the sharks today, so we are gonna watch this episode air. We're taking them a special treat that we had made just for them. You guys, these boys are hard at work. We're so excited to see their episode air. Adventure Hunt. It already Hunt. aired on the East Coast, and a ton of you have been messaging us that you just saw our brothers. I just wanted to do some intros. Most of you know at least one of us. Some of you know all of us. So I'm Sean. Yeah! yeah. Jared does like all the design work, all of the fancy website stuff, all the video editing, all the creativity, all the adventure lists, like everything that goes into making the event fun and cool and gives us good reviews. He is responsible for it. Yeah, Jared! I honestly am was so grateful that he was there with me in the tank because he just knocked it out of the park. So I'm really excited. So huge shout out to Sean. Woo! Boy, Sean. This is Shark Tank. And in case you haven't caught on yet, we're brothers. We're the founders of Adventure Hunt, and we're seeking $150,000 in exchange for 10% of our company. Adventure Hunt is a fun and adventurous modern day treasure hunt. Here's a little taste of the Adventure Hunt experience. Adventure sends you off in teams of two to four people on the adventure of a lifetime. A fan favorite is a good old fashioned wedgie. A wedgie. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, we do. We've been around for 18 months, and so far we have $769,000 in sales. You need wild girls' night outs type of things. Like yes, we do need that. Need <laughs> <laughs> what do we have in common? Uh, you know, we're both single, I guess. <laughs> <laughs>
epic cliffhanger there. If you were watching this live, they went to commercial. One shark made a deal, two turned it down, I think, and then one was on the fence, and there's one left that hasn't spoken yet. What a cliffhanger. They go to commercial. We're waiting now to come back out of commercial to see what went down, see if they get a deal on this show. This is incredible, you guys. So proud of my brothers. They are so good up there in front of the sharks, so good on camera. They are just holding their own, pitching their company. Rexy Doodle, what do you think of Uncle Sean and Uncle Jared? Hi, Jay. Good. <laughs> Sean and Jared have an offer on the table from Bethany for their experiential contest company, Adventure Hunt. But Maury and Robert may also be interested. I love the adventure, but here's why I'm really excited by it. I see a huge business. Would either of you come down off 25? Do you mean like 24? Not for 20, but right now, no more BS. They're like fighting over the adventure hunt. We can see you! <laughs> this is decision time, guys. We choose Robert. <laughs> the episode just wrapped up. One of the most insane episodes I've ever seen. The sharks were laughing. Everybody in this crowd was laughing. And let me tell you what happened, you guys. They flipped it on the sharks. They went from pitching the sharks to the sharks pitching them on who they should go with. They had two solid offers, and both the sharks were so wrapped up in who was gonna win this deal that they were trying to convince these guys that they needed to take their money and go with them. It was incredible. How did you guys feel like it went? I felt like it went amazingly well. I was pretty nervous, but uh, luckily I had Sean there who really stepped up to the plate. Dude, I would've been shaking in my boots. Like, you guys look like pros up there in front of some of like the most savvy investors, business people on the planet, and you guys knocked it out of the park. No joke. We were laughing and having so much fun, and I just wasn't nervous. Like, once we got through our main opening pitch, which we had memorized like intensely like a hundred times that was good, yeah. once we got through that, I like loosened up quite a bit. I feel like I the wedgie definitely really made everybody feel at ease. Yeah. Once you see a wedgie, you know, everybody's <laughs> yeah. feeling like they're friends there. They had them rolling laughing, you guys were laughing, jokes back and forth. Sean, super quick on your feet with jokes about her being single. And it was incredible, you guys. Like, I yeah. was blown away at how well that went. Huge shout out to these guys. You guys have seen us do an adventure hunt with them before. One of the most exciting, thrilling family experiences we've ever had. So you gotta check them out. Adventurehunt.com. I'll put it in the description down below. Also put it on the screen. Adventurehunt.com. It is the thrill and experience of a lifetime. So proud of my brothers. My freaking family was on Shark Tank. This is how we big up. Yeah. <laughs>an adventure no pun intended uh, that, uh, that was i really didn't mean to do that that was such an that adventure was so great you guys they had so many people show up for them we're so the proud viewing of party them. was insane so much it support for cool. my bro so cool i was proud of them i was just like man they like had it in the bag yes they did I, awesome. I seriously i text the family group i'm like i've never been more proud to be a bingham they represented the name so well they held themselves so good in that pressure situation and they just turned out yeah, looking so awesome. good on national television it was unreal i don't actually watch like a ton of shark tanks i've seen a few of them it's yeah. one of the better i don't ones feel I've like you've ever seen them fight over a company so much. Yes. Like, well, I can give you this. Well, this is why you should go with me. This, no, this is why you should go with me. And the other thing. They had know. two sharks fighting, and I, I think the other ones were actually interested, but just for mm -hmm. different reasons, some of them couldn't get involved. I was actually very impressed with their pitch. I think it went over incredibly yeah. well. And their company's amazing, you guys. Adventurehunt.com. Cool. Check it out. We've actually done an adventure hunt. You guys, if you haven't seen it, you need yeah. to watch the video where we did. I threw some clips into this vlog earlier. Uh, it's, it's cool. So much fun, you guys. It's very fun. It's interactive. It's honestly I'm cool. Super stoked to see what the future holds for them. Check it out. Also, check it out. 
out on Instagram. It's adventurehunt.co on Instagram. A lot of fun there. A lot of fun yeah, seeing my brothers cool. out there. And I was just very proud of my brothers, the Bingham family, and they represented well. So. And you guys, Sean is still single, so make sure to check him out. Not for long, you guys. That was too uh, good. After that, He's I told Bradley to be... drove home. I was like, I'm a little worried for Sean. His yeah. accounts are going to be blowing up with women being like, <laughs> I seriously need to go out with yeah, you. <laughs> yeah. He's going to need to be smart about that. Next investment will be in his future. <laughs> future wife. All right, you guys. We love you so much. Thank you for being a part of today. It was kind of fun doing a Saturday, Sunday yeah. combo. We love being live with weekend. you. It was amazing hanging out with you in our live today, doing the fun games with the Ravellis. Yeah, if you haven't cool. had a chance we to check it them. out, you can go watch that. It's kind of fun to watch. The last week here in the house before we head out to Hawaii. Got so a lot to do. A lot of getting ready, a lot of prep for I'm that. Already tired. We're gonna get into bed. Kids are in bed, but we will be back again tomorrow. So don't miss a beat. Subscribe if you haven't. Welcome to all you new faces. We love every single stinking one of you. We love you. Thank you for being a part of our family. We'll see you tomorrow. Yeah.